One, two, three. Oh, one, one. Best of three. So the, this is the decider. Okay, one, two, three. Fucking. Oh, I thought you were going to go save me, mate. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We're on the post lockdown thing. London is opening up, and today is going to be a celebration of that. We're meeting our mate, Big Lou, from Burger Gang or Die. He's going to take us on his tour of the best bites in post lockdown London. What have you got in store for us? I'm taking you on a post lockdown culinary tour of some of the places that I've been eating over the past couple of weeks as London has been finding its feet again. Starting with From the Ashes, Hackney Wick, my boy. The legend, Martin Atkinson. That's not his name. <laughs> his name is Martin. <laughs> My boy Martin's place from the ashes. Exceptional gaff, exceptional barbecue, but they're doing a jam donut like you've never seen before. Right. Ah, oh, here he is. We got you cleaning the smoker again. <laughs> you can't be trusted with a job like that. Pork shoulder donut, and that's exactly it. Like the classic jam donut, but filled with pork shoulder. Hold on, we're actually getting a special, aren't we? We're not just getting the regular pork shoulder donut. Tell them, Frank, what are we getting? Penduya. The Del Piero of pork donuts. This is some spicy goodness. Perfect way to start the day. Spicy goodness. Classic sugar donut with pork, enduja, crackling, chili jam. <laughs> Holy slap. Slap silly, bro. Love it. I never thought enduja needed like crystalline sugar. Right, and that is absolutely. This is Hackney Church Brewing Company, run by a guy called Elliot, good mate of Lou's, absolute smoking G. Elliot worked under Dave from Smokestack. He said, this guy, Elliot, is an absolute gun. He's like 26, full of talent, and he's cooking a burger here, or smoking a burger here, that is creme de la creme. This is me inviting you into my house with my family, we're sitting down, we're breaking bread. I shouldn't have revealed that this burger is, is, is a goat cheeseburger. The goat cheeseburger. The goat cheeseburger. Doesn't say it on the menu and it, they don't scream or shout about it. It just says cheeseburger. It just says cheeseburger, but trust me, this is gonna transport you to another fucking dimension. I mean, I kind of need you to tell me, like, because for me, that's everything a cheeseburger should be. That is Fun. fan fantastic. You get the horseradish mayo, give it that little zing straight away. That is so good. And it's goat. Do you know what? As usual, it's all about the journey for me. That's what I'm into. It's, it's, it's enlightening people, showing them something new, hitting classic spots. It's peaks, it's troughs. It's the whole experience of what a day on the streets of London can really offer you. Do you know what I mean? They do three bows here, and we've gone for one of each, just to get the, the broad spectrum of bow. Beef cheek nugget. It's just some of the most sort of juicy, crumbly, melty bit of beef you can have. And that's a little packet of it, deep fried with cucumber that is slightly pickled, so it's not quite cucumber, it's not quite gherkin, it's kind of a hybrid of the two. Delicious. Yeah, we need, we need some sort of liquid buzz. Grandad needs his medicine. <laughs> We're 
an angel on Upper Street, sat outside 12.51. We filmed with James Cochran before, Rosette Chef, really knows his stuff. This is his first sort of solo venture, 12.51, doing kind of tasting plates and sharing plates, but hot cuisine, right? However, Corona's happened, thrown his shit sideways, and so now he's decided to offer something that's a bit more grab and go, delivery friendly, around the clock, fried chicken. Have you tried it before, Luke? Sorry, mate. Have you tried it before? <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a fine dining background, there would be no excuses for this not to be deliciously crisp, crunch, and then juicy inside. And if you can capture this, the science is right. The maths don't lie, baby. Great flavors, those wings, crispy little juicy bad boys. The tandoori chicken, I like the Bombay mix in there, very novel. The mango chutney, yes, I loved it. Only thing is, it was just very bread heavy. The bread is a vessel, it's a means of transporting delicious ingredients incorporated <laughs> in the inside of an item to your fucking mouth. That being said, <laughs> the fried chicken itself was fantastic. Hold tight, James Cochran, bad boy. Very nice, enjoyable dish. Thank you for taking me here. Cherry pot. <laughs> Um, we're trying to get into the studio kitchen. The address took us here. However, there's signs everywhere saying this is not the entrance to the studio kitchen. No, it's, look, it's here. Oh, it's there, I know, it's there. We just need to get past this. <laughs> get past We've got a bit of a metal gate issue. It's just sort of flummoxed us at the moment. Lou's trying to pick the lock. <laughs> 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 My very good friend, all round funny chaplain. Blessings not stressing. This is Studio Kitchen N1. Been here since the January of this year, so about sort of six, seven months, not very long. They've been getting loads of hype, loads of people talking about them on Instagram. They've done no marketing and they haven't even got a sign outside. I think it's just literally like A4 paper in the window, which is budget. However, their burgers speak for themselves. So Max Halley from Max's Sandwich Shop, awesome character, complete lunatic, but he raves about these fried onion burgers. It might sound kind of normal, like a barbecue, like fried onion, nah ha These are Oklahoma style. Onions on the grill, crush the patty, more onions, crush another 70 gram patty, and then boom, cheeseburger, there you have it. Booking off on the pallet right now. That burger was brilliant, mate. Onions, player, cheese, beautiful. Lots of layers of cheese, lots of layers of onions. Mustard madness going on. I've been around the block. I've seen a few of these burgers in my time, and that's a certified cheese right there. That's a fantastic, I'll vouch for that burger in a standoff any time, any day, anywhere. We're in the heart of Shoreditch. OG behind us, Smokestack. Bloke called Big Dave behind it. We featured him in the National Burger Day video. Do you know why we're here? Because this is the epicenter of all things culinary in the heart of East London. Big Dave's a fucking legend who has been smoking delicate cuts of meat for a very long time. When it comes to smoking brisket, you're not getting sexier than this big old muscly bastard. <laughs> Smokestack, the home of fucking smoked goodness, with the legend, Mr. Dave Carter. Let's say no more about it. Brisket bun for everyone, and let's yeah. wrap this up, yeah? yeah. <laughs> you got pork brisket. Pork brisket? What the beef about? brisket. This is a little stump of a pig's end. It's a little <laughs> pig's tail. So it's like skin, which is like super crisp. It's like kind of like crackling. Then like inside it's quite fatty, but like... Like a scratching? It's, yeah, it's like a, it's like a pork scratching and pork belly. Mate, loose picked well. Yeah. <laughs> is it actually on now? Yeah. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Sound engineer, I need some more mic in the monitors. The fullness is, is like here. More, more. 80% full. More. More. We got, we got 
20% I feel like, room. I feel like Colin Jackson. And I'm like, who's I just Colin need Jackson? To just fuck can work those last few hurdles, and then I'm there. 110. Boom. 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 We are on Brick Lane at Bagel Bake. Fantastic, salt beef bagels. However, do not expect any gratitude, any smiles. If you want any of that, you're expecting too much. But expect fantastic value and fantastic flavour. I'm, I am so famous. £4.90 for that. I mean, the amount of... Look at the beef here. I mean, we'll get started, right? <laughs> get, get that straight out of the mix. <laughs> so, Lou, uh, how hungry are you? On a scale of one to ten, famished. <laughs> Where's our floor? <laughs> floor in here, but the same guys do Lyle's. Lyle's has a Michelin star over in Shoreditch. They adjusted, they started doing New York style pizza. We've ordered the Spice Girl, which has Induja, recurring theme of today. Meat, cheese, and bread, like in a, just a different format, isn't it? Wow! Bar market, floor, doing some killer pizza. When you get a stone baked pizza in it, it's on the, the bait. Hot as hell, but I mean, my mouth is crying right now. We've done what we set out to do. I feel like we've we've covered the highs, the lows, and the mid end of London dining room. We've been to restaurants, we've been to hatches, we've been to street food, and it's been wonderful. So let me say a big thank you to you boys. Bit old tight, the top draw, man. Them big thanks to you, Big Lou. I mean, you've Listen, you've given us a tour, mate. That's what I do. This is just a life I choose to live. We love having Big Lou. Really adds something to the little dynamic because it's just with I out here. Who do you reckon we should feature next? Who should you work with? Who should give us a tour? Doesn't have to be in London, obviously, it could be anywhere. Shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snip. Subscribe. Oh, me? Yeah, it's like a yeah, goal. It's like subscribe. an open goal. I don't quite. Oh, the yeah, boom. What do you have to Finish do? It. Here? Finish it. <laughs> no, subscribe like, to Top Jaw. Yeah.